Oh, hello. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is the one that barely appears in this cave. Okay, I am going to catch it. All right, okay. When spotted, this Pokemon escapes backward by fiercely boring into the ground with its tail. Yes, I will. All right, then. You are going to be named, uh... Dun, dun, dun. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to more Azure Plays Pokemon Heart Gold, where, as you can tell by my little intro thing, I caught a Dunsparce. I did not expect to find it. I found out it has a 1% chance of being found in Within Dark Cave while I was trying to just grind up a little bit with uh, Twiggy. Twiggy's now level 7, learned growth, nothing too special there. Supersonic is a little bit higher, everybody else, I, I couldn't really go too far. I didn't want to like overstretch it because I do know that's, uh, I probably won't even keep on my team anyway, it just depends. Either way, how did you feel about us um, leveling up a little bit? It's poking out my belly. Um, that's as good of an answer as I could have expected from that. All right, let's continue forward. All right, Pidgey. Meet Bird. Level seven Bird, who now has Sand Attack. Sand Attack will be kind of useful if I don't want to be taking a lot of damage. Just stack on the Sand Attacks and I can make it so they hit me less. Ironically enough, when I got the move, <laughs> I used it a little bit and it uh, it kept hitting me anyway. <laughs> so I just stack it on like three times before it would actually start missing me, which was kind of ridiculous. Either way, let's just continue forward. So right up here. Uh, okay, I just slightly missed the alcove. Caterpie. I actually did encounter a Metapod in between episodes, but I didn't really bother catching it. Mainly because I was level 5, and I have a Caterpie that will evolve anyway at some point into the Metapod. So, I didn't really bother there, especially since it only knows Hardened, and it doesn't know anything else that it could possibly use against me. Because it's a wild one, and it only knows Hardened. I'd rather not go there. So, I'm just going to stick with the Caterpie I have. And Stinky will do a good job and eventually evolve at some point. I just couldn't really get him to level up because it's kind of hard when they're lower level. Maybe when I get more moves. There we go, Bird is now level eight. All right, I'm gonna talk to you. Hello there. Stop moving. I found a good Pokemon on Dark Cave. I'm going to raise it to take on Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. Did you mean Dunsparce? Left to Violet City. Okay. So Violet City is in this direction. I knew it was you, Azure. How did you get past me? Here's something neat for surprising me, Azure. I don't know how I got past you because I actually did wind up going back and forth constantly healing my Pokemon just so I can actually grind them a little bit. Versus Recorder can record your Pokemon battles. I have to go now. I won't let you pass me again. Let's go, Maru. So basically... The versus recorder, I could record my versus battles and show them off to other people if I wanted to. I will not be using this because it's kind of pointless and I, I don't really necessarily care about that. What do you think about it? He looks very happy. Well, too bad because I'm not showing anybody anything. He must be the adventuring trainer. Did he challenge Pokemon Gym yet? We will. Let's go out here, which will lead us to Violet City. We care about the traditional buildings around here. That's why even the Pokemon Mart and the Pokemon Center are painted a bit somberly to blend in. So, um, yeah, that's why instead of red, they're like a little bit of a brown and then a little bit of a purplish. It's kind of neat that they decided to do that for this specific one. I need it in a way. Either way, hello there. You have a fancy sprite. Shard the berry, shard the berry. Yeah, yeah, I trade berry for a shard. If you bring me some shards, I'll give you three berries, yeah? All right, well, unfortunately, I don't have any berries, so I can't really necessarily do that yet. There have been reports of ghost-type Pokemon appearing in Sprout Tower. They say normal-type Pokemon moves have no effect on them. 
So if I try to use no more types on a, well, no more type moves anyway on a ghost, it won't work. So we're not gonna go there. Either way, we now have a new Pokemon Center, so I'm going to use it really quick. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. Yes, my Pokemon are now fully recovered. Hello there. It was about three years ago. This group of thugs called Team Rocket was involved in wrongdoing. They were abusing Pokemon. But bad things never last. Boy did a wonderful job and Team Rocket was disbanded. So basically they're saying that three years ago is when Pokemon Red and Green or Slash Blue happened. So yeah, this is three years later. Pokemon are really smart. Train a Pokemon not listen to you right away. For example, I love Pokemon sometimes refuse to obey when you don't have enough gym badges. So pretty much if you trade something that's higher level, it might slack off not actually do anything. So just keep that in mind if you decide to just trade for high level right away. A guy named Bill made the Pokemon PC storage system. You can access the Pokemon storage system using PC at the reception there. I only tried once. Now is it going to be called Bill's PC now that I learned that information? Nope, it's still called someone's PC. All right. Speaking of PCs, do I have anything? Uh, no, that's just, yeah. I was actually gonna check and see if I had anything other than that, but I don't have an item box in my PC. I was thinking I had like a potion or something. And then there's this guy over here. Hello, he has a name. I should be a familiar face to every Pokemon fan. I'm from the TV show, the Show Me Show. I am Primo, the big brother. Today, would you, one of my fans, tell me what you think of me? Not yet. I do have my phrases ready. I will get this down, just not yet. We're gonna go to Sprout Tower first and then we'll talk with this. So yeah, I'm busy right now. Exactly, I'm exactly busy. So I'm gonna come back later and I will give those things because it is something I am going to be keeping in mind. But first, let's check around town. Hello. I collect Pokemon. Do you have Bellsprout? Want to trade it for my Onyx? I do. I completely forgot about that. I will do that later. <laughs> All right. Pokemon you get in a trade grows quickly, but if you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. I caught an extra Bellsprout just in case for that trade. I'll do that trade later. I just need to do other stuff in the meantime. Hello, sign. I let's see the city of nostalgic sense. And that's basically the layout of the city right there. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer. You beat the gym leader here. You'll be ready for prime time. Pokemon school. What, what did I say? Earl will show you all there is to Pokemon. You mean like this Earl? I don't know if he knows anything about Pokemon. Let's see. I trained my best Pokemon to the guy beside me. Huh? The Pokemon just kind of is holding something. There we go. Now they look like they're mad at each other. We want to have what are called abilities. They seem that each kind of Pokemon has a distinct abilities. They say these abilities come in handy in battle. Sometimes they do. I never really pay attention to them. Some berries can restore Pokemon's health. Many other items can be held by Pokemon. I'm sure it's tough taking notes. I'm taking notes of the teacher's lecture. Where is the teacher? <laughs> I better copy the stuff on the blackboard too. The blackboard, you say? The blackboard explains Pokemon's status changes in battle. Read which topic? Poison. If poison and Pokemon Stat Lee loses HP, the poison lingers after a battle and HP is lost as you walk. You cure it, use an antidote. Which is nice because poison in this version of the game, they won't faint. Pretty much, if they get down to one, they'll withstand it, and then they'll be like, oh, I'm fine. Paralysis reduces speed and may prevent movement. It remains at the battle, so use a paralyzed hill. Sleep. If a sleeper Pokemon can use only certain moves, such as sleep, talk, and snore. Sleeping Pokemon doesn't wake up after battle. Wake it up with an awakening. Burn. Burn consumes HP little by little, but also reduces attack stat. It's actually a pretty low difference. It goes down by like 50%. So you're doing so much less damage if you're burned. So use a burn heal. And frozen. If your opponent is frozen, it can't do a thing. Usually that what happens when you go inside of a freezer, yeah. It remains frozen at the battle. Got a health and ice heal. There we go. But it can recover like 20% chance of the time. It will like unfreeze. Hey, yeah, I know it's all a little sudden, but we like to join a group. If you join a group, you can compete or cooperate with your fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Want to join? Um, info, please. When you form or join a new group, be sure to visit any union room. Mix your records or group members and you'll become integrated. When you're in the same group, events can happen simultaneously. It makes things a lot more fun playing in a group. Anyone can make a new group and anyone can join. I hope you recruit lots of friends and anyone can have fun. Unfortunately, I don't have any quote-unquote friends. 
I mean, I do, but I'm talking about like LP wise, I don't have any friends. So that's a feature I'm not going to be touching up upon. All right. So we got the gym right there, an old lady right here. Faulkner from the Valley City Gym is a fine trainer. He inherited his father's gym and has done a great job with it. What did he do with it? He didn't really tell me that. Are you the technology guy? Bonjour, are you a trainer? Battle gym leader, when you did? No. Is that so? Then study shall you. Follow me. But, 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 <laughs> you're supposed to tell me about technology. Here, teacher I am. Good is it you study here. Oh, so you're Earl. That's why the teacher was missing. You are, yeah, you're the teacher. Okay, that makes sense now. Earl I am. Wonderful, our Pokemon, yes. Teach you I will be to be a better trainer. What do you want to know? Want to be a winner is you? Are they seriously saying a winner is you? That is hilarious. I want to know this. Good, teach you I will. In battle, Pokemon top of list. The walking one, jump out first. Change order and list, make battle easy, maybe. More from me you want to hear? Sure. So you want to know how to raise Pokemon well? Why did you ask and then ask again? Fine, teach you I will. If Pokemon comes out in battle even briefly, some experience point it gets. Keep out weak Pokemon, switch in battle quick. This way weak Pokemon very strong become. You are a teacher. <laughs> Why are you, th uh, okay. <laughs> Talk easier, please. So I want to know how to battle well, yes. <laughs> Fine, teach you I will. Pokemon have goods and bads because many types. High level Pokemon not win always in bad types. Pokemon are good types for the foe you choose. Smart battle it is. You are like a Yoda. That's, uh, I mean, I, uh, I don't know. At least you have like, uh, <laughs> you are an Earl <laughs> is all I can really say. Let's see, let's go to the Mart. Hello, Mart. I need more Pokeballs, please. I wasted all my Pokemon to try to catch a Brawl Sprout. I caught a Dunsparce pretty quickly, but yeah, I, I need more of these, please. Or would do. Yeah, I run out of these things really dang quickly when I am using them constantly. When you first catch a Pokemon, it may be weak, but it'll eventually grow to be strong. Or to treat Pokemon with love. Yes, that's exactly why I try to make my Pokemon stronger. Pokemon can hold items like a potion or an antidote, but they don't appear to know how to use man-made items. That's a good reason why they don't know how to use a potion. It'd be cool. It would be so cool if you could teach a Pokemon how to use them. Like if they hold them long enough, they'll actually learn that how they how they can use them. I'm talking like Earl, no! <laughs> Basically, imagine if you like had to hold a potion long enough and it just like said, like it wants to use the potion. Would you want to let it use the potion or something like that? And then it'd be like, yeah, okay, click. And then it uses it. And I have your Pokemon out walking with you in some places. Places like buildings, caves, and where there are huge crowds. What I have to do is put it in a Pokeball. Am I just dumb and I just never noticed it? No, it's... Okay, weird. Strawberry? Piggy! She uses the names of all the foods she really enjoys eating. But the nickname she gives her a Pokemon, I mean. I call my Pidgey Strawberry. That's cute. I named mine Bird. <laughs> You have more uh, distinct flavors than I do. All right, so this way leads out of town, so I'm not going to go that way. I am going to go this way. I already talked to you. Hello. Did you know that Pokegear allows you to put marks and memos on this map? I don't have one of those Pokegears, but my mom won't let me. I think you're a little too young for that. So yeah, there's supposedly an item around here. I can be stupid, but I swear there's an item around here. I'll find it later. For now, Sprout Tower. What did that say? Experience the way of Pokemon to cast aside your doubts. I shall. All right, so Sprout Tower is kind of big. They have a lot of trainers around here, so let's see. A bell sprout is over 100 feet tall. I read that wrong. <laughs> a bell sprout over 100 feet tall. There we go. I was going to say, I have a giant bell sprout. <laughs> People say that it became the middle pillow here. Huh. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. That seems dangerous. The cool thing was, I believe this pillar actually moved on the original version as well, which kind of makes it fancy. We can actually avoid these trainers if we wanted to, but uh, you know what? Let's see here. Uh, Twiggy would need more experience, but everything kind of has bell sprouts, from what I'm aware. So, I am going to actually kind of go this route, just so Stinky can get a little bit more experience. Sprout Tower is built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. 
I was thinking you were a trainer. Only those who reach a tower will receive a wonderful move. All right, let's find out what that move is. All right, Sprout Tower. Sprout Tower actually does have Pokemon in it. If it's nighttime, you can encounter a Ghastly, like they did mention in town before, but unfortunately, it's not nighttime. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. All right, well, let's see how this works. Well, we have Caterpies and Bell Sprouts, so we can't really battle that hard. I can't imagine them just going and like charging up and just being like, ah, and just punching each other really strongly. I think pretty much it's going to be tackle and just bonk, bonk, bonk. Ooh, that's a good start because you're going to do about two or three to me. Yeah, you do two. So that's okay. So I'm going to do another tackle. Like so, that brings it down a little bit. Yeah, Stinky's going to get a decent chunk of experience here and level up pretty decently because I can just keep using tackle on a lot of these things. They're all really bell sprouts. Yeah, everything here has a bell sprout, so it's not going to be that challenging. But I don't really do that much damage with tackle. But once I start leveling up, I will be doing more damage, so... This is a pretty good spot to level up a Caterpie. I mean, it takes a while, but... Level 5. There we go. And it's about to send out another Bell Sprout, and since now I'm level 5, I'll do a little bit more damage to my tackle. Maybe, like, one more point of damage? I think I only got, like, one attack anyway, so... There we go! That's a critical hit! Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Stinky! And we're going to go in another again. We're going to go in again with another tackle. There we go. And another bell sprout. I'm okay. Stinkies, it's Stinky's time to shine. Okay. Stinky, get one of those critical hits that you love doing. Let's do that again, please. <laughs> tackle. And one more tackle. So close. So close. Do two. Do two. Okay, good. And there we go. That is one Pokemon trainer down. And there we go. Level six. Sage Nico has been taken down. He fought too hard, but he's too weak. That's a decent chunk of money. Flexible pillar protects the tower, even from earthquakes. Okay, well, at, I'm a little bit better knowing that knowledge. I keep hitting the wrong one. I could tap the buttons, and I'm still accidentally clicking the wrong things by opening the menu of X. There we go, let's get Stinky back up to snuff. And I should be okay for pretty much most of the tower because it's all really just Bell Sprouts I'm gonna be dealing with. There we go, let's see what we got here. We got a Paralyzed Heal. That could be useful. I just bought some, but we're good to go. All right. Hello. We stand guard in this tower. Here, we express our gratitude to show our respect for all Pokemon. All Pokemon that are Bellsprout. Did you know they're 100 feet tall? <laughs> because I sure didn't. <laughs> all right. Stinky, use Tackle. Stinky! Come on, try again. There we go. That's the critical hits that I like to see. You got this. Just one or two more. We're good to go. Alright, one more. You got this. All right, that's a little bit more. One more bell sprout ought to put you at level seven. So let's do this again. All right. So it looks like I gotta do about three more, give or take. There we go. That's what the damage I like to see. And there, another vine whip. Do the low percentage. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. And another attack. One more level, and I think I should be able to get rid of them in three instead of two. So that's what I'm hoping for. There we go. 54 more experience. That brings Stinky up. 
Perfect. Sound now, another bell sprout. I am good to go. Stinky's got this. All right, Stinky. That's a little bit of a low attack, I think. I think I did less than normal. Let's just see how this goes. Eh. It looks like it still might be four. Unless you crit. Ah. That's fine. You got this. Just one more. And there we go. Perfect. Why is he thanking me for... Okay. There we go. Stinky's evolving already. Caterpies are pretty quick evolvers. So we're getting the Metapod right away. Stinky evolved in a Metapod. And I believe with this, I will also learn Harden, which I'm probably not going to use. But I still have moves I can use, so that, that's good to go. How do you feel about that? It's concerned about the swaying pillar. I would be, but my concerns are a little bit lifted because I just talked to somebody and he said it's fine, it withstand earthquakes. All living beings coexist through cooperation. I must always be thankful for this. All right, let's head upstairs. I'm surprised I have not gotten into a single Pokemon battle yet. All right, there is an item right over there. I don't know why I moved to the side, but this gives me the accuracy. I don't really use these that much. They are battle items that I, I don't really mess with, but let's see, what? You're in the item pocket, right? No, you're not in the item pocket. Where are you? You're in the battle item pocket. There we go. Item that raises the accuracy of a Pokemon in battle. It wears off if the Pokemon is withdrawn. So basically, if I want to raise my accuracy and guarantee a hit, those are pretty useful to use. Past that, eh, maybe the, like, X attack and stuff like that. I sway like leaves in the wind. The leaves in the wind being the bell sprouts you all have. Edmund! Another bell sprout. Stinky, go! Stinky has evolved now, so we can do a little bit of a tackle. Now that it's not a Caterpie, that was a critical hit, so that wasn't really a best demonstration, but <laughs> yeah, I should be doing a teeny bit more damage because I evolved and my stats should be slightly higher. Just very slightly, it is a Metapod after all, so it's not really, I'm getting the crits on me now. All right, Stinky, you got this. And there we go, it took three. All right, another bell sprout. we're good to go, let's do this. Let's get another tackle. Crit, wow, okay. Not exactly sure what you're doing, but you're constantly getting crits and I'm loving that. Ooh, that did nothing. <laughs> okay, I thought the bar moved, oh, okay. I thought the bar moved a little bit more than it did, but it just kinda like stopped. I was looking at the wrong thing. There we go. And bam, level eight. All right, it's a Bellsprout. Um, actually, yes, Stinky's level eight now, so I'm going to swap over to Scouts. I need to get Scouts a little bit higher. I know Super Sonic's level four, but there's not really too much I can do with Leech Life. All right, Scouts, let's just start off with a Scratch. Unless Vine Whip does a lot, then I might go to, uh, okay. That's not that bad, because I think Defense Curl is Defense anyway, and Vine Whip Special. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> there we go. One more ought to do it. Oh, that was a lot. Oh. Okay. There we go. This is a little dangerous. 54. And so close. You're not weak. You have three bell sprouts. Joey, what do you want? <laughs> Alger, howdy. It's Joey, how are you? Oh yeah, I took down a Pidgey in the wild the other day. It's... Hasn't changed yet. It's only 10 in the morning. <laughs> it's still Monday. It was a cakewalk. Well, I guess it can't be helped, us being so tough. All right, later. All right. Here we go. 
Uh, well, I hit the wrong button again. Actually, that was technically the right button because I want to swap out you. There we go, because I want to get scouts a little bit higher. And I definitely want to heal scouts a little bit. So, yeah, it's another potion I'm wasting, but I kind of want to have scouts a little bit better. There we go. All right. I tried to copy Bellsprout's gentle movements for battle. I didn't train well enough. I mean... I... I... Mm, <laughs> not really too sure how that helps. Okay. Doesn't really help you too much, per se. But there we go. There's the rat I was looking for. Yeah, this thing doesn't really show up in the daytime usually around here. So this kind of helps that it shows up here in the daytime. Because uh, it's 100% chance in the daytime. So th that's nice. Uh, that actually might be bad. So, um... I could attempt one more, but I I don't think it's worth it. I'm just gonna throw a ball. There we go. And perfect. All right, there we go. It eats anything. Whenever food is available, it will settle down and produce offspring continuously. Don't, I thought that's a rabbit thing. Okay. All right. You are going to be named... Um, you know what? You are going to be named... Ratty. With an I, because I think it's fancy. Perfect. All right. So how did you feel about that? It's concerned about the swaying pillar. Everything's concerned about the swaying pillar. But it's okay. We learned that it's fine. All right, now we are technically at the top, almost. Got a potion, which is good, because I'm going to need that. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. In Bellsprouts? Because you are in Bellsprout Tower, and that's all you got. <laughs> Literally, it is one, but it's a level six Bellsprout. So this is slightly a little bit more dangerous, but it's okay, because I can probably get around it by using Scratch a couple times. It's going to do quite a bit more damage, though, but at the same time, I'm doing a decent chunk of damage, so... I think it'll be okay. Okay, now I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried, because one more, and I, like, I lose scouts right away, so... Hmm. I think I'm going to switch over to Toofly, because I know Toofly can handle it. I just realized my mistake. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm just going to do scratch. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Scott's is now level seven. And learns quick attack. There we go. That's exactly what I need. And then hopefully gets 54 experience as well. That's the only one you had. Oh, okay. this little squirt sure made me hurt. All right. That's what going to grow stronger. So does the trainer. No, wait. As the trainer grows stronger, so do the Pokemon. I guess you could say it's both ways. So in the meantime, uh, let's see. Uh, let's use that potion I just picked up because... Ow! <laughs> there we go. I believe the next trainer is a little bit easier because he has pretty much the other ones. The Elder's TM lights even the pitch black darkness. That's good to know because we have a cave I can't look at. All right, this should be Neil. Yes, Neil also has one in his level six as well, but now I have quick attack. So if I want to just go first, I could just do this. And do a little bit of damage, not too much. It's pretty much around the same amount as Scratch. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do defense scroll, get my defenses up a little bit because, ow, this is kind of annoying. Stop. There we go. That should help a teeny bit. Probably not too much. I'm doing quick attack because I know something went first. Let's just do that. Let's see. Okay. Sorry, scouts. I tried. All right. So let's see here. I could switch over the supersonic, but I'm not really going to do much with that. So, uh, bird, it's your time to shine. Tackle. Ooh, that, that could have been slightly stronger, but it's okay. Now it's not very effective. So Bird has got it. 
There we go, 108 experience. And a max level, cool. And there we go. Thank you. That just made this place much easier. It's my head that is bright. I mean, you're not exactly bald. You have like, well, you're bald here, but you have like the shaved look in the sprite. Let there be light on your journey. I mean, there will be, because I just learned Gust, but let's see, you're level nine. I can get you to level 10 rather easily if I just swap you over. I might, might as well just do that. There we go. Hello. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. I mean, pretty good, because we're about to have a battle right next to a pillar that is swaying, and there's a giant hole in the ground. Okay, Troy, you have two. You have Bellsprout. Which I'm just going to use Gust on, because there we go. Okay, that was almost enough. Ooh, that's not going to help you, because I'm going to be going first. So I'm just going to use another Gust. And perfect. And now, Troy is going to be sending out one I haven't actually seen yet because it's not nighttime. He's going to send out a Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot is like the resident bird Pokemon of this region. It's like an owl, which is pretty cool. It has like the one leg going on where like a lot of birds kind of tuck one leg up and they just kind of stand on the one. It's kind of cool, but um, Gus is not really going to help me in this regard, so I'm going to start using Sand Attack a little bit. Or not, because it has that. I completely forgot about that. I... Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, um, I did something stupid by not knowing that I had Keen Eye, and then I got put to sleep. Awesome. Awesome. Gotta love when you just get wrecked for no reason. So, in the meantime, I'm just going to swap over the Toofly then. Bird, you're still going to hit level 10, but you're kind of not going to be able to do anything for the meantime because you are sleeping. At least you're sleeping in, like, the Pokeball, so it, it should be comfy in there. Either way, we got a little bit of another one going. And boop. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, so this could be a little bit of a problem. I do want Toothly to be awake. So I'm gonna keep trying to do Scratch because I have a pretty small percentage chance of waking up. So I might as well just keep trying until I wake up. At least you're doing pretty low damage, so I can kind of handle that. I can handle it until you like decide to wake up though. I mean, Wow, you're a heavy sleeper. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Toofly, wake up. There we go. That was dangerous. Bird's not level 10. There we go. And Toofly is not level 11. Yes, your trust is real. Definitely, because I, I really trusted Toofly to wake up there. It's not far to the Elder. Yeah, I can see somebody over there, too. So let me see here. Bag. I don't want to waste the potion. I have no awakenings, so... It's a little bit of an oof. But uh, how well is Bird's health? Bird kind of has high health, so I can, I can get away with it. You showed us what you've got. And it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokémon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Huh. He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should be nice to Pokemon cannot defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. And he is an escape rope. Which is kind of useful because right over here, we have... An escape rope. So we can use that exact same strategy if we want to leave right away, or we could just walk out willy-nilly. Either way, we have the Elder here. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. 
yeah, Sprout Tower was actually completely optional in the original game. Here, you have to do it, which is kind of nice because they adjusted levels of everything. The nice thing is he pretty much mostly has Bell Sprouts, except he does have a Hoodoo at the end, so that could be a little bit of a bother because I need to swap out in order to get around that. Or I can sit there and just keep trying to use Gust. Wake up. Thank you, Gust. <laughs> Perfect. So close. Okay, you... you that, that's fine. I'm okay if you're wasting your turn like that. Another Gust, please. And perfect. So close. Oh, you're sending out the hoo-hoo now? Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna switch because that, that's... Ooh, that's kind of dangerous either way. You know what? Toothly, you can handle it. I mean, I'm putting you out for safety. I know I have another potion, but I, I kind of am wasting those, like, willy-nilly. So, I'm just going to use a water gun. Do a little bit of damage. Ow. Okay. Um, rage, please. I didn't really do much. Uh, my rage is building, though, so... Um, rage again. That's a little better, and... There goes Toofly. It was bound to happen eventually. That's fine. All right, Toofly, you can sit this one out. Uh, let's see. I could switch out for Bird again. Everybody else is kind of not suited for this, but maybe this is not a great idea. But maybe I can use Leech Life constantly. Okay. I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> Thank you, Leech Life. We take like... Okay, that was really not effective in the slightest. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this maybe one more. Okay. All right. <laughs> that could have gone slightly better. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, okay, let's see here. I can swap out for bird. Stinky could just do a tackle. But if it doesn't pack, I'm kind of screwed there. Uh, Twiggy. Yeah, I don't really have too many options, so bird it is. It's fine. Ow. That is not a peck noise. That's like somebody getting slapped in the butt kind of noise. <laughs> hey, another peck. A little bit of an ouch, but I think I'm okay here because Hoot Hoot is the strongest one. There we go. And that should put Bird at level 11. There we go. And Supersonic is now level five. Perfect. And Supersonic learns Supersonic! <laughs> uh, Bell Sprout. Uh, yes, I'm actually going to swap because that would help out Supersonic a little bit. I, I do know that it's not great because it's sleeping. <laughs> I'm not really participating, per se. But I could attempt to sit there and try to use something. If it, does just, if it does growth a couple times, that's fine. Okay, let's see how much this does. Okay, that wasn't that bad. So I'm just gonna keep trying. And then again, perfect, supersonic. That should confuse it, which basically gives it a chance of it just hitting itself, which is nice if it actually does that because my leech life is um, not the best. But now that it's doing that, and I pretty much participated and it's confused, I'm going to swap out for Bird. There we go. And, okay. Well, that was a waste of time. That was a giant waste of time. <laughs> All right, the gust it is then. All right, that's fine. Just one more gust, and Bird takes the cake. And 
Alright, Supersonic's now level 6. That's good, the attack 2? That's actually kind of useful. It would be nice if you learned something, though. Ah, excellent. That's a lot of money. Hmm, the way you battle is quite elegant. More like strategic, but not really because I'm not great at it. <laughs> you should be able to stand up to Faulkner. And you should be able to make good use of this. It's a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. Obtain the TM-70. When a Pokemon learns Flash, you can illuminate caves no matter how dark they may be. You can even try it on Bellsprout, for example. I could, but um, I'm not going to waste that on a Bellsprout. No offense. All right, let's get out of here. I could use the escape rope, but I am not going to. Let me just meet you outside. All right, and we're outside once again. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to heal at the Pokemon Center. And I'm going to get out my Bellsprout because we have some stuff we need to do before I go to fight Faulkner. I'm going to take Bellsprout here, and I'm going to withdraw it. Not Twiggy, just a normal Bellsprout, and I'm good to go. So I can trade for an Onyx. Because if you recall earlier on in the episode, right over in this house over here, this person was looking for a Bellsprout in return for their Onyx. So I can actually do pretty much what is essentially a single player trade in a sense. This is experiencing how trades would normally work in just this generation, like if you go to the Pokemon Center and you trade with other people. This is how it is when you're just trading by yourself, but you're kind of doing it in the main story. So it, it works out all the same, but we get to basically see it in a single player fashion. And Rudy send over Rocky. That's about as namey as I would get. Yeah, I got myself Bellsprout. Thanks. Yeah, they are kind of hard to find in the wild. There is 20% chance, so I do understand that. But Rocky, on the other hand, does have an item on him. He has a person berry, which I'm going to let him keep that. But Rocky is a hasty nature. Link trade arrived at level 3. Loves to eat. It's going to be some big rocks. So... He has lower defense and higher speed. Is protected against one-hit KO attacks with sturdy. So let's see, its move set, on the other hand, is Mud Sport, Tackle, Harden, and Bind. So we definitely do have some options per se. And it will help out against Faulkner, because Faulkner uses flying types. Look at the now there. But now we have one more thing we can look at. So, back at the Pokemon Center, I've walked past the Pokemon Center, back at the Pokemon Center, I didn't recognize it because it was like purpley. Back at the Pokemon Center, if we look at our trainer ID, we have 4931 is our trainer ID. So based on that, Primo over here has responses we need to give to him. So in the case of my trainer ID, I have different responses. There are websites that actually have the responses you can give out nowadays. You were supposed to learn these in other fashions way back when. But these codes, how it worked was they worked through your trainer ID and then you type in specific phrases. We never got these outside of Japan, so it is what it is, but these still exist in the game and there are ways to just get them generated online anyway, so not a big deal and they're still legit, so it doesn't really matter. So in my case, I have two different phrases. I have number one, gal. For the first bit and then he's gonna say oh my is this how you feel about me maybe i guess i never thought of it that way before by the way how do you like the way i'm so exciting and fun and then we get to respond to him with a second phrase in my case mine is going to be satisfied let's see where are you where are you there you go satisfied flying i don't necessarily know how this makes sense but it is what it is you are no ordinary fan knowing such a thing. You are a trainer, right? I'll pull some strings for you. I think I can swing a deal and give you this egg. He does give you eggs, and there are three different combinations for it. I'm going to block the names of what these are, so you don't really know what they are right away, because I kind of want them to be a little bit of a surprise. But we're getting three eggs from this. There's also other stuff you can get as well, such as backgrounds for your Pokemon boxes and such. I think they're kind of a waste of time typing in codes for them specifically. But, um, yeah, they do exist if you want them, so I guess they're fancy. 
Otherwise, our first thing for me is heatproof messed up. And the second phrase is going to be, let's see, go to ABC mode. Uh, there you are, complete. Now for R, that's Q, not R. Where are you? Run away, there it is. Complete run away. That is rather insulting, I guess, but here's my second egg. I'm gonna block out what this is, just so it's another surprise for you when I actually do hatch it. And now we got one more egg to go. Download toys and ice swarm. And there we go. This will give us our third and final egg. I will explain how eggs work, but it is essentially the new feature of Gen 2, which is technically old at this point because this is Gen 4 remake of Gen 2, but you know how it is. So I will explain eggs in the next episode when it actually becomes relevant. For now, they're just what they are. They just exist. So don't worry about it just yet. They are kind of a hidden secret for now. Anyways, next time Azure plays more Pokemon Heart to Gold, we're going to challenge the gym maybe explore some stuff at night. See you all then.